Today we're taking a macro-friendly approach to a classic pasta dish, improving its nutrition profile without sacrificing any of its delicious flavor. This chicken parm pasta contains 456 calories per serving and can be prepped in under 35 minutes, so let's jump in on how to make it. We'll first start with cooking our pasta, for which we'll bring some water up to a boil and then season that with some salt. We're using 227 grams of rigatoni pasta made by the Bonza brand, which I called out in a prior video. The Bonza brand has higher protein content in their pasta, thanks to being made from chickpeas. You can find Bonza pasta at your local Sprouts or Whole Foods, but Amazon has it as well. But you're welcome to use whatever pasta you want. I mean, after all, it's your dish. If you want spaghetti instead, then you can use spaghetti or really any kind of pasta. I just like the bite-sized nature of rigatoni. If you do have or use a different pasta brand, it'll change your macros a little bit, so be mindful of that. Once your pasta is done, you can drain it and set it off to the side and we'll now get on with making a quick marinara sauce. We're gonna start by spraying some olive oil and then adding three large cloves of minced garlic. And notice that I'm starting this in a cold pan. If you start it over a hot pan, you'll risk burning the garlic, which we obviously don't want. We'll now set the heat on medium low and let that garlic start to cook and get fragrant. And then we'll also add in half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Once the garlic is nicely toasted, we'll go in with 300 grams of tomato puree or tomato sauce. And yes, if you want to be more sophisticated, you can instead use whole San Marzano tomatoes and crush them up. But I don't like doing a lot of work for marginal benefit here. Then we'll hit this with a few spices, starting with one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and two teaspoons of black pepper. And if you wanted for some sweetness, you're welcome to add a small pinch of sugar. And if there are any other Italian spices you like, feel free to add them as well. And then finally, we'll throw in a bunch of fresh basil. Now we're gonna bring this up to a slight simmer for a few minutes. We really want all the spices and herbs to get to know each other and infuse into the tomato sauce before we mix it into our pasta. Once we let that sit for a few minutes, we can turn the heat off and set that off to the side with our pasta. And now we can get on with our chicken for which we'll be using 680 grams of chicken breast. And we'll set this over medium high heat to let it grill. What I did here was basically take the chicken breast and butterfly them or simply cut them in half. The way I'm thinking about this is that I want to use half a chicken breast per serving. And we're going to season this chicken very simply with two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of oregano. And then once we flip the chicken, we can season the other side as well with the same seasonings. Once our chicken is done, we'll transfer this over to a cutting board and let it rest for a second. This chicken is actually probably a few degrees under 165, but that's okay. It's probably around 155 at the moment. I did this on purpose because we're going to throw this entire dish under the broiler. The chicken will certainly reach 165 before the end. Now I'm going to cut the chicken up in strips and I'm going to treat each breast as its own serving. So I'm not going to mix all the chicken up, but instead try to keep them all organized here. And once we have everything cut up, we can assemble our dish. I'm going to take a large Pyrex dish here and fill it with our pasta. Then I'm going to hit that with a little bit of sauce before mixing it together, roughly two to three tablespoons. I'm basically just using the sauce to help break up all of the pasta that's stuck together. Now we can take our cut chicken breast and basically place it over the pasta in five different servings here. This will just help us get even proportions and make it easy for taking the chicken out of the pan later. And then on top of each chicken breast, we'll go in and neatly layer over our marinara sauce over the top of each one. And then for the fun stuff, I'm going to add 150 grams of sliced mozzarella across our chicken here. And instead of buying shredded mozzarella, I bought a block and sliced it into thin strips. But if you don't want to do this, the already shredded mozzarella worked just fine as well. I'm just being slightly picky on the flavor here. And then finally, we'll hit that with 35 grams of grated Parmesan. Now we'll throw this under the broiler for 30 seconds to a minute to let the cheese get melted and then we'll be ready to plate. And voila, your weekday lunch is now prepped and cooked. So I'm now going to portion all of these out so that they're prepped for the week across five servings. That's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the recipe and, and I'm not going to lie. I'm personally super pumped for these lunches this week because this looks really good. And you can always finish these off with some chopped basil, but I'll leave that as an optional choice for you. And here's the usual macro and ingredient overview, which you can find in the description or on our website, which is also in the description. Anyways, thanks a ton for watching, and if you guys have any specific dishes that you want us to make, comment below, but we look forward to sharing more recipes soon.